What is happening guys, HTX Infinity here and today I've got something again a little bit different, it's not the kit, I'll be doing that I think tomorrow if you guys want it. In fact if you guys do want that tomorrow part 2 of the sexiest kit, make sure to leave a comment down below if you guys think that I should actually be doing it. But also make sure to leave a like and also subscribe for FIFA trading and FIFA 15 news. And I just want to say thank you guys for the support today, it's been absolutely incredible, I just want to thank you guys so much for that. And also, make sure also to go check out DanHD on Twitter, I think he's only on Twitter, he's actually got a YouTube channel. But he created the card template that I'm using today, I created all the card stuff on it. But, I just want to say thank you to him for all of that, so without further ado, let's get on to the video. So today, I'm actually watching the World Cup, so this is actually my hinder my commentary skills but I'm gonna try and focus so much on these cards so first of all we have got Louis doing the top five players and um, predictions for FIFA 15 and obviously at number five we have got Louis Suarez oh my god that could actually be a goal wait nope um so we got Louis Suarez I've decided to rate him 91 now the reason for this is yeah I think he scored over 40 goals for Liverpool this season he was absolutely incredible obviously he's moved to Barcelona that's why we got the badge 90 pace he was absolutely electric I think during the Argentine um, the Uruguay England game especially especially for that second goal the amount of ground he had to make up and he just did an absolute lightning and he scored that incredible goal also I've upgraded his shot I think I've upgraded everything on his card his dribbling's also improved as well and also headering and defensively I haven't really seen him much so I can't really judge but he was very good for Uruguay at the the World Cup. He didn't score. He only scored. He scored twice against England, and he played very well against Italy. Obviously, after the bite, and he didn't play against Colombia or the first game, which was against Costa Rica. But he's actually, I think, deserving 91 rated, and I think he's a lot better than his card. I just chose him to be on FIFA 14. But now we are going to get into number four, and this time I've given it to the man himself. We've given it to Iron Robin. Now the reason for this is. I haven't really seen much of his Bundesliga stuff. I know he's rated, I think, 88 now on the FIFA 14. Same as Suarez. But this guy is absolutely incredible. It's again, especially for Netherlands, if I was to pick the best player at the World Cup, other than maybe Ochoa or Kaelin Navas, I'd probably pick Robin. Either Aside from the diving he did, he has been absolutely electric. Down the wing for, not, um, for Holland. And I can't really fault him in any way at the World Cup, apart from, obviously, his diving. Again, as you can see there, I've, I think I've upgraded most of his stats, I think, other than his defence and but his dribbling. But his dribbling, I think, is probably the best in the world other than maybe Messi and even Ronaldo if you were going for it. And it's just absolutely incredible. And I think he deserves his upgrade back up to 91. I think he was 91 on FIFA 12 as well. And I think he deserves it once again for his incredible season. I think he played well, actually, at Bayern as well. I think he scored a lot of goals. And also, don't don't leave any hate if my facts are wrong. Again, I'm not a football person, but it's something that a lot of people have been doing, and I think I could do this. And I just want to say, if you guys enjoy, make sure you leave it in the comments, and I will do more stuff like this. But again, I'm not really football knowledge maestro, but I'm all right. I can I can do the odd football fact. But he's been extremely good at the World Cup. I've been watching him. Number three, we have got Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Now, this guy wasn't actually at the World Cup, obviously, because of Sweden didn't qualify. But this guy, I think he scored over 30 goals in 30 appearances for PSG. Let me just check it up. Um, yeah, <laughs> excuse me. But I'm pretty sure he scored about 33 goals. He scored in six, I'm thinking of the wrong person, in 67 appearances for Paris Saint-Germain this season. He has scored over 56 goals. That is absolutely incredible. And that's obviously why his shot has gone up to 94. I've actually increased his pace from 77 to 82. I think he deserves that as well. And I think all of his stats are upgraded. I think, actually looking back, I upgraded his dribbling too much. I think it should have been 89. Again, I think it was 89. Oh my god, Messi is rapid, mate. Flipping heck. Wait, 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 hold up. This could be a goal. It's not a goal. But he is a very good player. And he actually got nominated to the top three in the Ballon d'Or strikers. And he was actually in that as well. And I think he deserves his upgrade. I think he was ninety. He was 89. I think he should get the upgrade to 93. And as we are going into the top two, who do you think it's going to be? In fact, to pause the, actually don't pause the video, but go in the comments now. Type who you think is going to win, who's going to be the number one. And at number two, we have got Cristiano Ronaldo. And now it's going to be a bit of a surprise in a minute. But Cristiano Ronaldo, he won the Ballon d'Or, didn't he? 95 rated. He's been upgraded from 92. He's now obviously a left winger. 
He is absolutely lightning. I think he is the quickest player other than Walcott and Bolly and maybe even Bibiani. But he is absolutely lightning. His shots, he scored, I think, 40. Uh, I can't, wait, I don't want to mess it up again. I think he scored over 40 goals in 30 appearances, a bit like Suarez. And he has just been absolutely incredible this season for Real Madrid. He also, I think he scored in the final, again, of the Champions League. Again, don't quote me on that. But like I said, he scored, yeah, 31 goals in 30 appearances for Real Madrid last season. And he is an absolute class player, showing why he deserved his um, Ballon d'Or. Again, wasn't the best of the World Cup. I think I would have just picked him over. Obviously, Messi's coming up for number one. But he, again, just didn't play well at the World Cup, whilst Messi's actually in the final. But getting into number one, we've got Lionel Messi. And now, as you can see, I haven't actually upgraded him to be better than Ronaldo. I think they should be joint top, because obviously Messi has been better at the World Cup. I think he scored 28 goals in 30 games for um, Barcelona but he has been he's been better at the World Cup obviously Ronaldo was shocking and Ronaldo again he's still a class player he won the Ballon d'Or he played better overall this season but Messi obviously in my opinion the best player in the world again I've upgraded the stats a little bit he's got worse defending than Ronaldo I think he's about the same pace quick he's got better dribbling and he's got better passing better everything apart from heading and defense I'm pretty sure but he is an absolute class player, and I hope to see him get that. Ooh, I hope to see him get that upgrade on FIFA 15, because as we know, he's really bad in game on FIFA 14 and FIFA 13. So hopefully he gets the upgrade, and hopefully he'll be really good. That card looks really good. So if that guys watching, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed. Um, just I'm gonna be uploading part two of the sexist kits tomorrow. So hopefully that can get out, and it's quite a busy day tomorrow. So hopefully I can get it out. It takes quite a bit of GFX, but it'll be all right. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. It'd be greatly appreciated, and I will catch you all next time. Adios.